size of that thing. Hello guys, and welcome back to Red 2 Chatter. I'm your host, Dallin, and here I'm joined with my two brothers, Jay and Ryan. Hey guys. Hello. And uh, today we have a bit more of a format. Um, we have first news from the around the galaxy, where we talk about the latest Star Wars news. Then we'll go on to Toshi Toy Box, uh, where we talk about basically all of the toy news and what's coming out and such. And then we go on with Gaming with Gunmorians, where I will basically ramble on about gaming stuff. <laughs> so we'll get to that when we get to that. Anyway, let's start off with news from around the galaxy. Uh, the first topic, will, will there be a re-release at some point for the theatrical versions of the original trilogy on Blu-ray? All right, so I read an article online. Uh, I believe it was through comicbook.com, and the Steel Wars podcast also was talking to Kathleen Kennedy, and they asked her point blank, will there ever be a re-release of the theatrical versions. She didn't necessarily say no from what I read. She kind of just laughed and said, well, those are George Lucas's babies and we don't really want to touch them. Uh, f for my take from that means they're kind of just waiting a little bit to do those re-releases. The big thorn in their side, I think, is Fox because Fox owns the distribution rights to New Hope in perpetuity so the original theatrical release so if Disney wants to release that they're gonna to have to make a deal with Fox now the other two movies Return of the Jedi and Empire Strikes Back come back to Disney after in 2020 so there is hope I think for those to be released yeah what do you think Ryan well I, I think they they'll have a chance to release them it's just whether or not Fox will re let go of a new hope or not now this is my history with kind of looking up the relationship between disney and 20th century fox at least when it comes to their marvel stuff they are not on good terms at all um and you know it it does kind of you know it's not quite there yet because disney and fox do not have the healthiest of relationships when it comes to you know business and stuff like that um at least when it comes to the marvel side who knows about star wars like i think honest. it'll eventually just come down to a matter of money, money. yep it's and always money it, it's gonna make a ton of money just on blu-ray and dv or digital download you know sales i can't understand why fox wouldn't want a piece of that pie eventually once you know disney decides they want to do it I'm thinking if they're going to do it, more than likely it'll be at the 50th anniversary. Mm -hmm. that, might that, that, that might push them to do it. Right. Towards the 50th anniversary, that's 10 years. They have definitely enough time to think about it, make deals with Fox, do whatever they need to do. Uh, Disney will have the rights back to distribute Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi at that point. So, I mean, 50th anniversary might get, be a good call. Might be. It might be. So, the next topic that we have is uh, the the Force Awakens trailer, or teaser trailer, that came out way back in, like, 2014, I think. Yeah, like December? Yeah, 2014. Some... Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, or yeah. like, That was early, December 2014. Yeah, early 2015. Maybe November, late November. Yeah. And so, they someone has found that they, like, split up the Force Awakens trailer and the Last Jedi trailer, they put them side by side, and they are eerily similar to each other. So, do you guys think that's a coincidence or on purpose? It's got to be on purpose. If you watch, <laughs> if you watch the, if you watch that tra those two teaser trailers together, it's uncanny how similar they are. I mean, they show Darth Vader's helmet and they show Kylo Ren's helmet at the exact same time, the exact same amount of time. It's ridiculous. Oh, it is definitely on purpose. And I think it's a little thumb to the nose at all those fans like, you just remade A New Hope. When we did Force Awakens, you just remade A New Hope. I think it's just thumb in their nose subconsciously, like just so subversively that this, yeah. it's so funny that they, it has to be on purpose. 
Just that's my opinion. It has uh, to be on purpose. purpose. Yeah, like they have even the blackouts. Cause like I, you know, I've heard like oh, yeah, if you watch a teaser trailer, count how many blackouts there are, and then count like the seconds with all the actual footage, and then count the seconds with the blackouts. Usually the blackouts are longer than the actual, like, footage. <laughs> right. yeah. And so it was very interesting to see how they had the blackouts, like, split second, instantly go together. Mm. Yeah. Like... <laughs> yeah. It was like and watching synchronized swimming, swimming almost. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was that, like, synced up. Like when Ray and Finn, like, when Finn, like, pops up, he's like... <gasps> yeah. And then Ray's when, when <gasps> Ray... <gasps> like, it's at the exact same time. Uh-huh. It is ridiculous. But it, I do think it was very clever. And I do remember actually, like, watching the trailer before that came out. And I was like, this, this looks, does... This looks this, familiar. This does look familiar. <laughs> Don't it? Like, what, where have I seen this before? And so that's where it came from. But I, I think that it was actually a kind of a cool idea. Yeah, the brilliant part is I love both of those teasers. Still. Yeah. It doesn't detract from me the feeling I have about both those teasers and about what I'm feeling about this next movie coming out. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. All right, so topic number three. We have uh, the new spinoff movie announcement uh, coming this summer. Maybe at D23. We don't know yet. Uh, so what do you think it will be, and what do you hope it to be, or want it to be? Uh, hope it to be, huh? <sighs> well, as far as what we... Well, what I think it'll be, is it's going to be Obi-Wan. It will be announced, I think. Uh, Ewan McGregor is... He hasn't said as much, but I know he's been in talks with, like, saying he wants to do it. He's been pretty vocal about saying, I would love to return oh, as yeah, Obi-Wan he's, Kenobi. He's eager to come so, back. I mean, and I think... Disney is really listening to the fans, mm-hmm. and when you talk, when you're on all these other forums, and you know you're searching anything about any of the new movies coming up, and you're on Reddit or whatever, everybody's talking about. Man, I want an Obi Wan movie. So I think maybe Disney's listening to the fans, and well, they'll get it. I think. And there, there's also chatter out there about it being a trilogy. I'm not sure how they would pull that off to be a trilogy, but of course. If I, the, movie, the movie I want to see is any sort of Bounty Hunters movie. Mm. But I don't think we're going to get that right now. What do you, like, what what movie do you want to see? Oh, man. As far as a Bounty Hunter movie, not not centralized not a Boba, not on a Boba, Boba Fett, Fett movie, movie, but like, uh, on, you know, an ensemble cast movie with different Bounty Hunters. Maybe they're duking it out or, you know, a couple factions are going at it. Would be really cool. Even um, if it was more of a... Job of the Hut movie, where yes. he's using bounty the bounty hunters. That would be cool. Now, Jay, I, Jay and I have talked about this before, and what I would like to see done with the bounty hunters is a Netflix original show, since Disney is in very good terms with Netflix, and so, and basically what they do is they have each bounty hunter have their own season, so you have. You know, IG-88 get his own season. And then you can, like, you can get, like, Forlom and Zuckus to have their seasons together. Like, you just have, like, Forlom and Zuckus. Then you have Dengar season, Boba Fett season, uh, Bosk season. And you just keep on going. And then, like, maybe the final season could be, like, all of them teaming up or... Yeah, or, or defenders. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or, or they just come in and they it's a, col- a collision of the all of them together going after maybe one bounty, mm-hmm. and it's it's a battle between. Oh them yeah, all. it's like a race <laughs> to yeah. get to this one bounty. That would be really good. It's like a competition. <laughs> it's kind of like um, you know, like a hunt out. Like, <laughs> yeah. And I'm not sure what the bounty hunter code is. When would they just injure each other? And would they, would capture, they kill or each they other? Just like dismantle pe- their ships. Sabotage, sabotage, or you know, where they actually try to kill one, go another. for blood, you know, just to yeah. get them out of the way. They're like on indoor, they're cool. and they're like flying through. It's like the pod race scene from Phantom Menace. They're like trying to stab at each other as they go past. Like it would be really cool. It would be really cool. Um, but what I hope it would be, and what you think it would be, is the same thing. I've always wanted a Obi Wan solo movie. Always. Obi-Wan was my favorite character in all of the prequels. And that's just mainly because, well, Ewan McGregor. I yeah. love his acting. He's great. He is really great. And uh, and even Clone Wars, I freaking love him. Like, he is so good. 
Yes. And uh, the character development he gets in Clone Wars, I won't spoil it for Ryan since he's in the middle of watching it. Um, but he gets so much character development in Clone Wars that it, you know, it really fleshes out his character, I think. And you can use some stuff from Clone Wars uh, in the movie. You can have some like things mentioned. Right. right. That's the that's the big question is when is it going to be? Right. What's the timeline? What's the timeline for, for it? Is it going to be after A New Hope? You think or so? Or before? I'm sorry. Before A New Hope, he's a, he, he dies he's in dead. A New Hope. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, spoiler. So, spoiler. Spoiler. Sorry about that. But uh, no. Yeah, despite but, it coming out yeah. in 1977. But, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, before. <laughs> yeah. Before A New Hope is it going to yeah. be a before A New Hope? Yeah. Just how close to A New Hope could it get? I don't think it can be too close. I think it has to be. After he's dropped Luke off, oh sorry, another and, spoiler. Right. <laughs> no, but drops Luke off on Tatooine, and then it's going to be from there. His and I think it even there. it even has to be before he shows up in uh, Rebels, the cartoon, mm-hmm. because there you can't have that confrontation with Maul. Spoiler, um, you know there ha- he can't know that's coming. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, could that can't be, be after that. I don't think. Yeah. There's not could, much for him to do after Could that. they make it, though, where that's the last scene where he oh, him like, and Maul... Like a remake yeah, of a that remake scene of that from scene, Rebels. And that's where the movie and ends. You, and you bring back... You can bring back uh, the guy who played him in the prequels. You can bring back... Um, oh, Ray Park? Yeah, yeah Ray, Ray Park, Park to play as Darth Maul. Darth Maul. You can, you can bring him back and just, you know, like, I don't know, get some metal well, legs for him. Green screen him. Yeah. You'd have to green screen him. Yeah. Get or some metal mo- legs for him. Oh, yeah, spoiler, Darth Maul is alive. Uh, <laughs> we're, all, we're terrible at these spoilers. We are pretty, before, we before are pretty we, bad. We just throw them we out. We just there. hope you guys have seen all the uh, Star Wars. Speaking of Darth Maul, been out there. Speaking of Darth Maul, when Ryan, Ryan and I recently watched Phantom Menace again, and when you see Darth Maul get cut in half and then he like flies down, both of us are like. He's alive. Like, we both, like, smiled to like, ourselves. Yeah, and, like, it makes the movie even he's better because you're like, he's not dead. Yeah, yeah. It was like, because he kind of went out and was like, oh, come on. A little bit of a wimp. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of just kind of cheesy the way he went out. It was like, you know he's not dead, though, because he's come, he comes back in Rebels. So you're yeah. like, hey, he's not dead. You didn't kill yep. him. And in Clone Wars, you'll, you'll get to that season. Mm-hmm. That episode in Clone Wars where he comes back. He comes back, back yeah. You get the Those first are, reveal. That's when Clone Wars really gets good, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's around that season. Season three, I think, is when yeah. that one gets good. Um, so next order of business, we kind of rambled on a little bit, but that's okay. That's what Red Two Chatters for. It's called a chatter for a reason. <laughs> so, uh, next one is going to be: Will Episode Nine be the final saga film centered around the Skywalker lineage? Okay, so now, not, not the final film of the of the continuing story, but. Of the Skywalker being lineage. the main focus, okay. now, of Skywalker's being the main. Focus. This is going to be a lot of it's going to be predicated on is is uh, Ray this related is all speculation. to Luke Skywalker? Is she related to him? I don't is think she so. A Skywalker. That would be because you know how you okay. Tell me when you guys first went to go see uh, the Empire Strikes Back, and Darth Vader comes out and he's like, "Luke, I am your father." Did you guys get surprised by that? Oh yeah, I was. Oh yeah, I was. Floored. A, it was that was huge, a shocking reveal. If it's revealed that Ray is Luke's father, Luke's wait, sorry, Luke's Luke daughter. is Ray's father. That would be one of the worst twists in cinematic history because everybody and their mother saw it coming. Yeah, so maybe yeah, you're, you're probably right. So like, I don't know if she's a Skywalker. Or not. The other problem would be like you have to surprise. Oh, man, us. You're just redoing Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> you have to have another father reveal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. so I can understand that point of view. If yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so, okay, so, is that going to be? Is this the ninth movie going to be the end of? That also almost tells you that Luke skies, yeah, right. or, uh, or or Kylo Luke, Ren, because he's technically a Skywalker. Skywalker. Yeah. So does Kylo also die? So if it's the last. If it's no longer following any sort of Skywalker lineage, that means you have to get rid of Luke and you have to get rid of Kylo Ren. Well, I mean, could you consider Kylo Ren has ceased to become Ben Solo and is now Kylo Ren just like Anakin and ceased to become Anakin Skywalker, Skywalker and he became and Darth, Darth Vader, Vader and from a certain point, point of view? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when you take into that consideration... <sighs> well... It, well, let's ask this question. <laughs> okay. Is Kylo Ren redeemable for his 
Maybe. I think they Axiom. definitely... Force Awakens. I think they definitely... Yeah, and does he get... Foreshadowed back? it. Like... Can he come back to the light, light side? side? And... I mean, he did he? kill his dad. <laughs> uh, right. Is that... Oh, uh, that's like saying... Oh, Anakin, he, he he slaughtered all those little younglings. Will he come back? <laughs> like, well, he does. He does, at He's, the very, very end. Yeah. Very end. He saves so, his son. Maybe. And, I mean, you have to realize, Luke might have, like, someone out there. That's not, a, yeah, that's not even known yet. That's his yeah. son or daughter. Right, you don't know. Exactly. So, they could completely, like, just... Take a complete, like, oh, surprise! Here is Luke. Another Skywalker. Yeah, here's another Skywalker. May Maybe if that's the end of Last Jedi. Ooh. You see, like, a Skywalker come out, and it's like, Luke is like, my son or my daughter. And, like, you, you know, he or she is coming out with, like, a lightsaber. I don't know. You could have a big reveal like that at the very end, and then all of a sudden... And like have the blue, dude. You would get so many fans going, "Oh come on!" Like, yeah, not again, <laughs> yeah, 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 not again. Yeah. You would get so many people like yelling. I don't but think, I don't think this next movie is going to end on such a cliffhanger. No, you don't think so. I think it's going to end very solemnly, and then Dire Straits people there's going to be some more like re Empire sort of Strikes, Strikes, Empire Strikes Back. Back. <laughs> <laughs> but that's sort of the nature of a trilogy. Mm -hmm. True. The second movie well, is always darker. I mean, yeah, true. for the hero, it usually is. You very can much argue more that dark. Empire Strikes Back, though. You can you can argue that that did kind of leave on a cliffhanger because you just realized that. Vader is Luke's father. What is this gonna mean? And you lost Han Solo. And you, you got... lost so Han Solo. And Luke's hand is chopped off, and he's like now, like in kind of a right. coma, like. And state. he's sort of becoming more like. Yeah, he, he, he realized he's got the mechanical hand mm -hmm. like his right. father at the very end, and then him and Leia are there looking out of the out the window, out the window space, at the end. As that's how it ends. Yeah, as Lando and Chewie take off. off to go help, to go find Han Solo. Yeah, so. It, 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 it's it, not quite it's, as big a cliffhanger. Right, it's though. tied up a little bit neater than the Force well, like, Awakens. Yeah, but like, yeah, <laughs> like the New Hope didn't really end on much of a cliffhanger. You saw them blow well, up the, the Death Star, and yeah. the celebration. That was the end. There's a big yeah, celebration. Won. Like they thought, you know. Was, yeah, yeah. It almost made to it, winning. It almost that movie was almost okay. You could have had a standalone movie. You didn't have to make another one. Nope. But it then that again, been done. it's like. You kind of think that it, there's going to be a sequel because they didn't kill off Darth Vader. Yeah. So like they left that part open. Yeah, mm -hmm. Darth Vader spinning mm -hmm. in outer space. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe that was supposed to be his death. <laughs> but uh, if I think this probably will be the ninth movie, will be the end of the Skywalker lineage, lineage. sort of being the yeah the central focus. And it might go into I don't know. It could be anything. It could be even Ray, or it could be. I think Ray could be I mean, Ray and Poe are taking over. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's your. your well, like basically your. Luke, I did your Luke, your Leia, and your Han. I did. Yeah, <laughs> I did moving, notice moving the story on. I did notice that it's like all all of the uh, generations have this two guys, one girl. You have Obi Wan, Anakin, Padme in the prequels. Then you have uh, Han, Luke, and Leia in the originals. Then now you have Poe, Finn, and Rey right. in the new ones. So it's really interesting to see how like it mirrors. Yeah. And and Luke, Lucas has said before, he's he says uh the Star Wars universe is like poetry, it rhymes. And so it it is very uh interesting how things are mirroring each other. Yeah, it's sort of poetic how everything kinda of just Falls well, like in line and yeah, like sort of repeats itself, but not really repeat itself. Am I the only one who notices that they're like all the chosen ones are from desert planets? Look, <laughs> 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 if you're born on Tatooine or Jakku, you're there's a good chance well, you're. You don't, you don't, you don't know where Ray was born though. Oh, she true. was dropped off on. If Jakku you've lived most of your life, when she was <laughs> young, Luke wasn't born on Tatooine, Tatooine either. Yeah, yeah, he was born in Alderaan. Yeah, and then taken. If to... you've lived most of your life. On, on, a, on a desert, desert planet, planet, you have a good chance of being a Jedi. Yeah, and a chosen one to save the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we go on to the Tosh, Toshi, Toshi, Toshi toy box, just like Tashi Station. Mm. 
I thought I was going to go to Tashi Station and pick up some power converters. Wake <laughs> <laughs> up some action it? figures. Okay, so topic one. So discuss which of the six fan-voted characters we want to see made into the 3.75-inch vintage collection figure from uh, Hasbro. The winner right. of the announcement on May 4th. Right, so Hasbro had a contest obviously and they wanted the fans to vote for the next figure of course when you read some of these websites and this has not gone well no <laughs> no, uh, no not as at far all. as like man there's some arguing going out there a lot of people wanted some of the it's mostly based around the eu or the extended universe or now called legends or the figures originals yeah that people wanted to see made and Boy, there's some controversy out there about that, but also there's a lot of like I, I read some of the war, uh, some of the sorry war, some of the com- I was gonna say comment war, uh, while you guys were talking about stuff before we started the podcast, and it was like just complete prequel versus original stuff in the in the comments. Some of them, like right. some of the or replies legends or- versus the cinematic universe, or. You know, canon and all mm-hmm. this. And, oh, Clone boy. Wars, Rebels, yeah. They go all... Because I saw Satil as one of the people that they wanted to see. I <laughs> lost something here. Hold on. Oh, okay. yeah, there we go. All right, so the six figures that actually made it to the final for the Hasbro thing was Dr. Aphra from the Darth Vader comic. I well, think that'd be cool. That'd that's be a, cool. That's a that'd great cool. character. Can we get some like triple zero in here? Too? <laughs> yeah. I like that'd yeah, be yeah, cool. Triple zero. Yeah, triple zero. BT. Yeah. Uh, the Arc Trooper Fives from Clone Wars, who is a cool character. Once you make it through the seasons and mm-hmm. so, sort of see his story arc, he's a cool character. Uh, we have Simalu. Oh yes. man, that's like a random. Who? Random, who even picked who that guy voted out? for Simalu? Yeah, <laughs> How many people voted? How many people even know who he is? He was in the movies. Do you know who Simulu is? Recurring... Please tell us. Yeah. Tell us in the who comments, you... right? Who We're not going to reveal is. who Simulu is. is here. And yeah. looking it we'll up is you... cheating. Well, well, just, yeah, look, yeah, looking it up is cheating, people. <laughs> okay, so just if you if you think you know who he is, he was in the original three. One, well, he was in one of the original three movies. So if you think you know who he is. Comment right below, <laughs> right? We'll give, we'll give you high fives. Yeah, for, yeah, yeah. Because I we'll was give like, you digital I, cookies. <laughs> I knew, I knew who he was, but not his name. I didn't know what his right. name was. I only knew who he was after I saw a picture of him. We'll yeah. give you some <laughs> digital blue milk um, if you know who that is. Right. So we have Ahsoka Tano from Rebels. So I old, think that would be an awesome figure. So older Ahsoka. Yep. And Yak Face. Come on now. Like I need my <laughs> Yak Face. Fix. <laughs> that one's voting for Yak Face. I'm voting for Yak Face. And then we have Emperor Palpatine. From Return. From Return of the Jedi. Which, he's like all old. You could probably like have like the lightning with him. Be sweet. So, I, I would choose Dr. Aphra from the Darth Vader comics. I think she's a cool character. Mine is a tie between Dr. Aphra and Yak Face. Yeah, mine's a tie between Dr. Aphra and Ahsoka. So, I guess, collectively, we're going <laughs> for Dr. Dr. Aphra. <laughs> Dr. Aphra should have won. And if you haven't read the Vader comics, the first 25, like, it, I think it went through 25. 25, 25. Man, those are so some good. Great comics. Great comics. So you good. get to the Vader down section of that. Oh, man. Does he wipe out some fools in that comic book, man? I absolutely love Dr. Aphra because she, she mirrors Han Solo a lot because she's got a Wookiee, kind of. She has a Wookiee friend. Um, and... Well, she likes droids. Where she likes droids. Doesn't like droids. droids. She likes droids. And she has, like, Triple Zero, who is this complete sociopathic uh, translation droid who is used for interrogations. And he, he is awesome. Yeah. He is amazing. And then you have R2-BT. Or is it R2-BT? Or is it something else? Something BT. Something BT. Comment below. Let us know. Yeah, yeah like R5-BT or something like that. It's one of the R series. I do know that. Um, and I absolutely love that character. Like, I, like I've said this before, I really want to get into droid building. And that's probably the first thing I would make is BT. <laughs> okay, so who would you guys want to see that wasn't on the list, that didn't make the list? Uh, Wolfman. Card back. <laughs> Wolfman. Wolfman would be cool to see. Um... I don't know, Walrus, Walrus Man would be... Uh, and they've made those. He's been past. on a... Right. Been on but an f- updated version? Yeah, an updated, updated version, version of Walrus Man would be, cool. back. would be pretty cool. 
uh, I don't know what they are, but I kind of wish that they made, like, figures of them. But they're, like, the Jawa-looking guys in, like, Force Awakens. They're, like, metal. They're on Jakku, and they're, like, these droid-like looking guys. Oh, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they look like Jawas, yeah, too. Yeah, they have the little hood, yeah, you know, the little like, robe. I want, like, those guys look so cool. You can just see them in the background for, like, a split second. But they were so cool, and I was like, I want I want one of those yeah, as a the, figure. The little gnome-looking guy on Jack Who as well, he's got, like, the basket he's carrying. Oh, yeah, he's, yeah. like, behind line. He's, like, in line behind uh, Ray when she's getting her rations from Uncar Plot. I think that little guy would be cool. Yeah, that would have be Have his cool. basket full of stuff <laughs> with him. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. I don't know. How, how about you, Ryan? Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> Not, I mean, all the ones that they've already made, I, I like a lot of characters that's already been made. So something that hasn't been done before, it's kind of hard to find something. It is. Very especially the original. Especially the originals, because they put <laughs> out milk. a ton of guys. You know, unlike today, where it seems like I get just a, a smidgen here and there of characters. There's some characters in uh, Maz's castle oh, man. that oh, I would yeah. love to see. Like the um, two How guys that... the giant guy? The, with, oh, like, the one that the lady's sitting with the, yeah, the, the, that calls up the First Order? Yeah. I want, like, the red dude who uh, oh, Finn they, talks they, to. Have they? Have they made a guy? The Finn talks to? Yeah, they have him in a double pack. Yeah, he's in a double guy. pack. Okay. okay. With his buddy. With his buddy, yeah. Should we get into the double pack? But I would like to see the, the guy that's for the, Reb, for the Rebels, too. The the guy that has, like, the microphone face, and he's like... Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah there's That'd some, be pretty there's, cool. There's just a lot of cool characters. If you really look oh, yeah, through yeah. that scene where you're not watching what's going on in front of the camera, kind of looking in the background, there's a ton of cool oh, characters yeah, in that. Cool yeah, Sa- same with, like, Rebels and Clone Wars. Even that giant droid that comes out when they're walking in mm-hmm. that big little, red droid right in the little He's Rastafarian cool. band well, I, that's playing <laughs> have they made a have they made a figure of Goldie from um from uh Clone Wars He's the spy R2 unit no I no? don't so they should make one of him cuz I thought that episode was really good like I, I like with R two, and then like you see the battle between them, like bumper cars. They're like yeah. slapping together. Oh, is that the is that the little the little the, the uh, what's his name? Grievous's droid or not Grievous's? Who's whose droid is that? He's spying for, on, yeah. on them for the. I think it's Dooku's, isn't Empire. it? Yeah, I think it's one of Dooku's. Yeah, Dooku's. I think it's Dooku's. Okay. And yeah, like yeah, that droid would be cool. That would be really cool. That would be hilarious though if he didn't actually die, and. <laughs> He comes back like Darth Maul to take revenge on R two D two. Have some revenge plot with R two D two. That'd be pretty good. Um, so next topic will be uh, the upcoming list of sideshow collectibles um, and uh, ones we would love to see made. Okay, so if you don't know who Sideshow Collectibles <clears throat> is, go Google it now and, and look through their toys because they make some amazing figures. stuff. Make and some amazing they'd stuff. make a lot of six scale figures. Those are the ones I, I really like to collect. Mm. The six scale. Oh, yeah, the, and qu- the quarter scale ones are awesome. But man, they're expensive. expensive. <laughs> they try. They try to. Uh, and they try to like make and them look them as realistic space. as possible. Like they they really go all out and like trying to make them look as real as possible. Uh, you know, down to like little tiny details, details. Oh, yeah. and that's why they're so expensive. Is because they're very detailed. Yeah, and they're usually and, limited runs, too. They're, they're, right. They make a certain amount. And the head sculpts on some of them. Like, I have uh, Ray from Force Awakens. Man, it looks like Daisy Ridley. I mean, it's so <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So, you have to go check out. Yeah, if you're not familiar with them, definitely go check out Sideshow Collectibles, Hot Toys. But They make more than Star Wars stuff, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just All that. kinds of stuff. They make... Like Marvel, DC, See, doesn't matter. Yeah, they've Any got... nerdy stuff, you can find right. that. Oh, yeah. They're like pop vinyl figures, only but for the rich more kids. expensive. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> more expensive. Yeah, they're expensive. They're definitely not cheap. For the hardcore collector. But some, yes. of the, some of the ones that are coming out here pretty soon, uh, they're making almost all of the... Uh, well, they are making all of the the um, bounty hunters mm-hmm. from sure. Empire. So you got Dingar, you got IG-88, you got Bosk. You got there's Zuckus, Zuckus and Forlum, and they make Boba Fett's all the time. Just different, different oh, yeah. versions of Boba. Always Fett. make Boba Fett's. So. Yeah, I've got two. I've got a quarter scale Boba Fett, uh, Return of the Jedi, and I've got Return <laughs> of the Jedi, Boba Fett in six scale. I am with the Sarlacc. Yeah. Christmas I've... idea, by the way, guys. Or a Sing sideshow collectible for me. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> just they, saying. <laughs> just... Right. 
Right now, I've got all, let's see, those all the bounty hunters on pre-order, so I'm just waiting for them to come in. Yep, me too. They had this big, huge booth at a Star Wars Celebration that had all of them. All of them in, in one In like a giant circle. Clay it was pretty cool. Around Darth Vader. It was uh, pretty cool. And another, another one I saw at uh, Celebration, actually, that I'd love to get my hands on. Don't know if I will, but... Because I'm God, I really got to like narrow, <laughs> narrow down what I'm collecting. Oh yeah, because like, that's the biggest thing is I have to narrow down like you can spend as much as I a car if you start getting into them too heavy. But, <laughs> but you can spend you can spend ten twenty thousand dollars. Return of the Jedi version Emperor Royal Guard, that red suit is just so awesome. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. I love that character. I love that. Yeah, love so that good. Figure. Yeah, and I, I really like the um, I think it's the Senator Guard too. It's the blue. Yeah. It, like, yeah. it looks like a Centaurian, kind of. Mm. Yeah, it looks sort of a... Uh, a Roman. Like. Roman. Yeah. yeah, with the, the big brush. The big brush on top of that. Yep. Yeah, I, I love those guys. It looks so good. Yeah, you can see them in the background in Phantom Menace. Just for a split now, second. Now, let's talk about some of the things that they don't have out, or haven't seen coming soon, but we want to see come. Right. Um, mine... I'll just start off. I want to see Ahsoka Tano, and I don't care if they give me the younger version the from order? Clone Wars or the older one from Rebels. Well, like I'll take either one. <laughs> what I'll if take they both. give you all three? So like early Clone Wars, later Clone Wars, and then Rebels. I'll take all three. <laughs> when they come out, I'm buying them. He'll buy all three. <laughs> just will buy. So all if three. anybody from Sideshow Collectibles ever happens to run across this podcast, he'll buy all three. Right. You have <laughs> for sure orders right here. <laughs> like I would um, love oh, go ahead, no, go okay. ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I would love to see some of the you know, some of the classics like Yak Face <laughs> or Wolfman or uh Walrus Man. Love those I absolutely I don't think I've ever said this, but I adore the Cantina scene from New Hope. And the Jabba's Palace scene from Oh yeah, there's uh, so many cool characters. The Return in of the those. Jedi. You can just pause the movie at any time. And just look at the backgrounds and see all of the different creative-looking aliens in the backgrounds. And the aliens have the aliens and the droids have always been my favorite part of Star Wars. Um, just the creativeness that they come up with for some of the races is really cool. So I would love to see some more like races, and I would love to see like some more creatures. Oh yeah, that, that's my that's mine. I want to see a Wampa. A bantha. A, a bantha. I don't know. They made a bantha. They made a bantha. But a wampa would be cool. Like, especially if you could get like a whole giant diorama with Luke Skywalker hanging in his hoth gear with his lightsaber in the ground, and then you got the wampa back there chewing on something. Yeah, and some scattered eating, bones. Some scattered bones, all in this big giant ice cave. You could even make like an entertainment center, so I could put it in my house, my TV on top of it. <laughs> I, I would love to see that. That would be really but, cool. What about, how about, Dallin, how about your favorite droid, the, what's his name, the one that's, just looks like a giant foot. Oh, uh, R1, R1, R1 G4. I'm, I would love to have a freaking sideshow collectible of R1 G4. That would be like a dream come true. That is one of my favorite droids in all of the series. And it's it's just in A New Hope, right? right? Yep, the, you just when, see it at the, the was, sound crawler. Yeah, they're sitting the, out the sound crawler when, yeah. Yeah, you see him like getting lowered oh, down. Oh, Luke come out. I love that droid. This is the reason why I love that droid. I love that droid because it it reminds me of like Flash Gordon, because it's like or like um uh, what is that Danger Robinson Danger. That's what it looks like. He has like little tiny mechanical arms that ha- that like come like lost out. Lost in space. Lost in lost space. Lost in space. He has like a big antenna. That's his eye. He ha- He's like giant. He's as tall as Luke is if you look at him in the in the scene. He's as tall as Luke. You know who else I'd like to see another droid? Speaking of droids. Is EV ninety nine mm. from oh. Jabba's yeah. sail barge when he ah new acquisitions? <laughs> yeah. I love that guy, man. <laughs> yeah. I, that. I, I would love to see a lot more droids. There's like oh, just like the the ensemble there that the Jawas have that would be mm-hmm. cool, like a little spider droid and the, oh, yeah. all those different ones. Well, like like the, the the big spider thing that's in Jabba's palace yeah. after R two and C three PO comes through. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, something like that would be cool. There's a ton of there's just so many that would, I'd love to see. Well, like I want to start up a collection. Of, like, every single droid action figure that ever came out. Oh, good luck. <laughs> and just, and, like, have them just lined up on, like, a shelf. 
<laughs> just from, from Star Wars? Yeah, just yeah. from Star There's Wars. There's a lot of them out there. Yeah. A lot of different ones. Especially like, you know, too. like the, the astromech loose. droids are my favorites. Just check eBay and find loose figures. Oh, yeah. Loose droid figures. I, there, there's a figure of R1G4 that's on Amazon for like $8. <laughs> and like, I really want it. It looks really good. Should get it? Yeah. Yeah, I really should. Um, okay, so next one is the Gaming with Gamorians. Right, this is your realm, Bellin. This is mine. Okay, <laughs> so Battlefront 2. So some images have been released of, like, you know, the graphics and stuff. They look amazing. They look amazing. However, I will say this once, and I'll always say it for the rest of my life, graphics do not define a game. Because there are, there are plenty of games out there that I absolutely love that are really, really bad graphics. <laughs> But they but are the so amazing. They are so amazing. Um, well, like some of them are artistic graphic graphical choices. Um, for example, Persona Five, which is one of my favorite game series of all time, they have very artistic style of how they make their games look. Um, but in terms of realism, yeah, I do like the realistic graphics at times. It depends on the game. Uh, so I'm very I'm very looking forward to uh, the realistic looking graphics they did a really good job in the first battlefront uh they made everything look real like you guys saw me play oh, the yeah. first battlefront a little oh, yeah. bit I, I tinkered with it a little yeah yeah and like when you're just going through indoor on the speeder bike you know like speeding through as people are shooting at you and you're trying to like take down uh rebels and it looks amazing it looks absolutely amazing and I, they did like something called like photo uh photo generation or something like that where like they photo realism yeah photo generation where like they like took pictures and then they molded it into the game and it and it really looks good um however what i'm worried about is the story now this story is taking place between the force awakens and the return of the jedi it is in that uh and it's, are, fun, and it's from... A, that's a pretty good size gap. You know, like and it's year, from the it's like Empire. Years, yeah, it's years. from the Empire's point of view. Okay. Uh, that is, And so it looks like you play as this uh, woman uh, stormtrooper who, cool. who is like part of this elite squad who uh, goes down to deal with like the really heavy stuff. Um, you go down on indoor and you look up at the sky and you just see the Death Star blow up. <laughs> and that's good. That's how it's gonna start. Mm-hmm. Okay. Every and like all the all the stormtroopers are looking up, and one of the stormtroopers asks you like, uh, like, what what do we do now? Like, Captain, what do we do now? And it just cuts from right there, and it looks and it, and she says, I think like we're gonna take we're gonna take back the or like we're gonna re yeah. avenge the emperor. Yeah. yeah, I think that's what it says. We're gonna avenge the emperor, and so. There's a scene where you can just see it for a split second, but there's a scene where you see her and she like takes off of her takes off her helmet and like throws it to the side, brings out her pistol and is aiming it at the back of Luke Skywalker, and he like looks over his shoulder at her, and it, it's just I'm like, how are you gonna put this into canon? First of all, yeah, because it's got to be canon. Or and. What like how long is the story going to be? Because uh, with first person shooters, it's very different from most games. Uh, first person shooters usually have maybe like an eight hour campaign. Uh, the good ones. <laughs> Some first person shooters are just lazy and they have like a four hour campaign and you're like, well that was fun while it lasted and they're like, but play the multiplayer. It's like, but I came here for the campaign. Um, but it looks like they're gonna have all the for the at least the multiplayer anyway, looks like they're gonna have all the generations, so ranging from uh, prequel to original to for, uh, Force Awakens or the Ray, I guess you could say the Ray generation. Um, so it'll be very interesting to see what battles they come up with. I'm kind of hoping for Geonosis, Geonosis, because I I love that battle. Uh, it reminds me a lot of Hoth. Because you have, like, the big walkers, and you right. got the ships flying around and fighting. And you have walkers on either side, which I think is really cool. You have, like, the spider bots on the Separatist side. And then you have, like, the pre-at-ats 
on the Republic side. Uh, they kind of look like uh, beetles. <laughs> That's what they reminded me of. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see where it goes. And other than uh, Battlefront 2, um, I am looking... I, I heard... I heard that this year or soon, they're coming out with uh, something for the MMO The Old Republic. Now, The Old Republic has been completely... Well, at least the game, the MMO, has been completely, like, scrapped as being, you know, can canon. It's been Legends now. Um, but they have, like, a new DLC that's coming out where you can go to, like, a new planet. And there's, like, gonna be all new quests coming out. And I haven't played The Old Republic in a while. You, because I used to play it with my friend, but recently she has some pretty bad internet problems. So we haven't been able to play it for a while. But once she gets internet back, then we'll get right back to playing it. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see where that goes. And, of course, I'm like, okay, can you give us other Star Wars games besides Battlefront? Uh, you know, maybe give us, like, a, a Jedi game or something. Like, I don't know, have have a game set in Luke's Jedi Academy. That would be fun. You know, you learn the Force, and you build your own lightsaber. You go out, and you adventure across the galaxy. I mean, if they made No Man's Sky, which is this game where you can tr actually travel to other planets in, like, this galaxy. You can actually go, like, you can look up at the sky, you can see a planet, and you're like, I want to go there. You build, you get your ship, you actually fly up, and you can go there. And you can land down. If they can do that with No Man's Sky, they can do that with Star Wars. With Star Wars universe. Right. I, why not, why can't they just make Star Wars games that have nothing to do with anything going on between... Mm -hmm. The main, you know, in the canon world, they could have, it's set in the Star Wars universe. You could be a smuggler, and you could just be smuggling stuff for, I mean, you could run into Jabba the Hutt, but you don't have to run into any of the known bounty hunters. You could make up, there is millions of ideas you can make up for just, yeah, just within the galaxy, mm -hmm. but has really nothing to do with the, the overall yeah. plot of the, and, you know, the direction of the story. Yeah, like, that's... The thing that I absolutely love about Star Wars is that there is it is so open. It's oh, an yeah. entire galaxy. Uh -huh. <laughs> just, yeah. And you could be a kid selling death sticks on Coruscant. Get your life changed <laughs> by Obi-Wan. Yeah. And you could just start right there. Oh, that guy just got his life changed because he's not selling death sticks anymore. Now he's going to go to the academy and learn to be a TIE fighter pilot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... Yeah, you exactly. Could, <laughs> like, you could... Yeah, there's there's just, there's thousands and thousands of ideas out there that you could do that doesn't have to have anything to do with the and story. It doesn't have to be canon. Mm -hmm. You could you could tie it in a little bit and but just you know just touch on it. But it doesn't. Once the the person breaks away from you know from that part, then it's just it's its own it's its yeah. own story. It it's doesn't own, have to yeah, be. Yeah, and you're making it up. I mean, yeah, you're, exactly. But what you're, you're generating what, what's happening. But what you did say about how that starts the Battlefronts two getting back to that. That sounds very interesting. I mean, they, yeah. have, they have a great opportunity to make a great game story. because yeah. they have a great story with it because that sounds like a great story. I mean, yeah, what hap What did the Stormtroopers do and what did the what did they do after their second Death Star got blown up? How did they, you know, mm -hmm. how did they become, how did you roll into becoming the new, the, 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 the new order? The first, the first order. order. Oh, the first order. I keep on saying the new order. I don't know why I say that. It's the first order. The first order. So, um, yeah, there's there's a now, lot of stuff you can go there. Continue on with this like gaming wishes. Do you think <laughs> we could ever see a Star Wars game like Skyrim, where it's just like I I hope <laughs> like everyone, you're basically just doing whatever you want, like little quests here, little well, like, quests there, and like you're there's really no end, end to I, mean, I, I guess there is if you do every you, single quest, quest but that's right. gonna take you over two hundred hours to do. Like that. That's right, gonna you take just you be forever. Like on a planet, like yeah. out in the outer rim territory, can they? They, they, they can just do like yeah. They, they, yeah. Have, they can just do like Star Wars. You could be on uh, Dantooine. Yeah, you can just do like make up some title, Star Wars something or other, number four, Tatooine, like like Skyrim does, uh, or Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls, they bring in different parts of the world, 
and they just center the entire game in that one section, and they just make it open world so you can go see it. Yeah, like, that, that that would be that, that would be, be so awesome. awesome. I'd play, play the game. Oh so cool. yeah, you could like have battles against. Yeah, you can like choose people factions. People in the cantinas, you know, you can go to you can Mos Eisley, you, you can go to Mos Eisley, you can do all right. kinds of Drinking, stuff. drinking uh, contests in all, the... Because you could easily just walk into the cantina, mm -hmm. all kinds get of quests. yourself a blue milk or... And also you could like, like you can do in Skyrim, you can customize your character. So you can, you can go like, do like challenge runs where you do nothing but you, but use force powers. You don't have a lightsaber. You don't have a gun. You just go out, go full force, and just start pushing <laughs> people now around. now we know that there's force-sensitive people mm -hmm. out there. It's just your... How in tuned you are with it. Oh, yeah, and they can make you, like, kind of a chosen one type thing like they do in, in the Elder Scrolls, usually. They always make you the chosen one where you have to save this certain piece of the world. Uh, so you can, like, just save this one planet throughout the main story. Yeah. And right, yeah, there's I, I, there's so much opportunity endless, there. Endless, yeah. endless. And you could just you could you could you could put them out all the time because you just go from one planet to another planet and it could be it would be totally different. There'd be totally different characters, totally different quests. Of course, totally different would be amazing. Yes. Or or like the like the Wookie home planet. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, Kashyyyk. Kashyyyk. That'd be awesome, man. You go. You, you can know, choose your race. You can choose your race. You're like you can be like a Twi'lek, a Wookie if you want to. Like you. I mean, you have to limit it at some point. I would love if you could play as a Jawa. That's just well, me. Well, if it was Tatooine, yeah, why you wouldn't can, you have yeah, a Jawa like character you, that you could play? You can make it where, depending on what planet you are on, you can choose your race from there. Yeah. So, that, like, you can play as, like, a Tusken Raider. Raider a human. But, like... Jawa. And who knows what other creatures live on Tatooine. Now... Obviously, the, there's a ton of them in Jawa's palace. Not all those people came from off-world. Yeah, well, like... With the advancement in gaming technology, um, and Jordan and I have talked about this a lot. Jordan is our sister. Uh, Jordan and I have talked about this a lot in, in gaming technology and stuff. Depending on what race you are, there should be some bias. So, like, the game takes into account what race you're playing. And they see that, and they kind of mold the... Uh, character's attitude towards you depending on what race you're playing. They kind of do that in Skyrim. Right, so you get so, so a little bit more benefits if you're one character that... As so so if you were like a character. Jawa, you kind of get kicked around a little bit A little more. bit. You get bullied you, around you a little bit. You get bullied more because you nobody know, And then really if, you're, likes... <laughs> if you're a Tusken Raider, everyone's scared of you. Yeah. Because they think they're, you're going to go wild and start shooting up the place. And so it would be very interesting to see that see, Star Wars, if any people from like EA is watching this. Yeah. If you do that, and you mess it up, <laughs> I I will come for you. <laughs> don't, like, don't even, don't that even that think would also twice. be cool too, is like if they did make something like that, like an Elder Scrolls, if like once they came out with the ne the next one, if you wanted it would be nice if you could take your character that you've already built and is already Oh and transfer that's already cool. That you already like and if you could transfer him and just plug him into a whole new yeah. world. That and would for, be really and, cool, yeah, and start from there, right? right you might you, you might like have to like lose all your weapons and stuff that you've collected, and maybe your levels because because the only you have like a really small ship and you don't have the ability to carry much weight, so you have to get rid of all your stuff. But you can take the same character and maybe you know, and take him over there and drop him off. Yeah, yeah. And he's got to recollect up all of his stuff and all of his goodies to to do the you know to do the quest and right. Do, to continue the story. So you're not starting over from scratch, from scratch. really. Mm -hmm. Building a new character. Although, just playing those games, that's half the fun sometimes. sometimes yeah, just building yeah. characters. By the way, this is a random question, but like, uh, it kind of ties in. Because if you're playing on Tatooine, uh, you can, of course, go to Mos Eisley. But where does Anakin grow up? Did they ever mention the name of that little town? Oh, man, do they? Is it Mos Espa? Mos Espa? I know there's a Mos Espa and a Mos Eisley, and a. I can fake. I can take you as far as Anchorhead. Anchorhead, yeah. Uh, and there's Tashi Station, Tashi whatever Station. that is. I think, yeah, I think that's just a little outpost. I'll have to look that one up. I'm not sure. I think what it's Mos Espa. Mos Espa. I, I, so. I know it has a name because I think they mention it in the movie, but we'll have to. Or it's it's mentioned somewhere. Some you know. Yeah. It's a good trivia question. It, it is, is a good is trivia, trivia question. question. If you know the answer, the comment sections below, throw it out there. Yeah. 
It is a very good trivia question. That would be kind of cool, though, if you're, like, playing on Tatooine, and you're, like, you're just running around in the desert, having fun, doing nothing. Then, you see this burned-up little, uh, homestead. And you see skeletons on the ground, and that's Uncle Ben. <laughs> or Uncle, yeah. You could go get some blue milk. Uncle, <laughs> Uncle Owen. Uncle Owen. Uncle Owen. Uh, yeah, yeah, Uncle Owen. <laughs> you just, yeah, you just see, like, skeletons but on the ground. But that could even be one of the quests that you go out there and oh, have yeah. to find something that right. that Owen had that needs to be taken back to somebody for some And, like, most Eisley some or something, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like a piece for a condenser. Yeah, yeah, you never know. There's just there's so much opportunity there. It's crazy. There's a lot and they of just, opportunity. They don't seem to ever want to latch onto it and do it. Yeah, yeah. Because if you made a uh, something similar to an Elder Scrolls, but in Star Wars universe, it would go. It would. Right, so I'm like sure if that. they just pitched it that way, like, look, we're not even going to interfere with canon. This is just a, a fun singular story. Fun. Contained within a planet has nothing to do with, with the Skywalker, empire. Has nothing to do with the empire. Has nothing to do with getting off like and maybe, joining the rebellion. Maybe you nothing. see like a couple stormtroopers walking around every once in a while, I mean, but that's about it. Right. Or like, there you could don't, be like Jabba. Yeah, you know there could be Jabba's okay. house and that kind of tie-ins, but you don't have to have unless any. you're going to do something with that or have plans to do something with Jabba's palace and want well, to make that into canon. Then why not let him use that? That's I mean, the that's cool what... thing about Jabba, though, is that you can do so much with him because not much is known about him. Right. So oh. you you don't know who he's encountered. No. To- totally off topic, but we're talking about Jabba the Hutt. In this Han Solo origin movie, you better not CGI friggin' Jabba the Hutt. You've tried it twice and it sucked both times. <laughs> you better be a friggin' puppet. I want to see Jabba as a puppet. You're right, a bit off topic. But in the new Han Solo movie, if Jabba makes an appearance... You better be a damn puppet. Oh, please yeah. make him a puppet. Not, not a friggin' CGI Practical puppet. effect. He Hor- looks so Hor- bad. in the digitally remastered, and, and, and almost equally as bad in, in uh, like you Phantom, can, Menace. Phantom Menace. You can tell the guy, the big giant guy on Force Awakens at Maz's castle, mm-hmm. that is a, a practical a, effect, and by, you can by, tell, and it looks real. real. Yeah. Well, like, if that was CGI, the guy, it would look CGI. The guy who uh, is uh, voiced by Simon Pegg? Yeah. Uncar Plug. Yeah, Plot. yeah. He's like CGI and practical well, at the same Simon time. Simon Pegg is in that costume. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, like they kind of CGI his face a little bit. But other than that, yeah, it's completely yeah. real. Yeah, it just popped in my head because I was like talking about it right. like, with some guys at work about they better not CGI <laughs> jump the butt. <laughs> they better bring up, bust out the old puppet because yeah. he's way better. In Return of the Jedi is a puppet oh, than he ever was in those right, other two. Yeah, because that the CGI job was terrible. Yeah, and it looked bad. And it looks bad. Phantom Menace. Yeah, and that was even you know I can kind of understand so the CGI stuff was kind of newer when they re- digitally remastered uh, A New Hope, mm-hmm. and then you know they they put that scene in. But oh my god, it's terrible. And then um, he wasn't the right size. No, that was no. Yeah, he was so tiny. Yeah, like, it, was, it was just terrible. It was a terrible idea. They should have just left that scene out. Then, uh, then they brought him back in Phantom Menace, and it still wasn't right. It just still looked it like was better. Some, it looked like a cartoon character. It was yeah, better, it was but it better, wasn't. It right. looked like I was watching unless Clone you, Wars. <laughs> unless, yeah, unless you can make it look exactly like the puppet, don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. it just give me the practical effect. Just give me the practical effect. Yeah. Look, he's going to be younger. Jabba will be younger. So maybe he's not as big and fat. Maybe. As he, yeah. Maybe. maybe he's yeah, yeah. I, I don't know, know, I don't know the exact how. the same puppet. I don't yeah, know yeah. how cuts, <laughs> how they, they age, and how they grow. grow. And, yeah. You yeah. don't have to break out the exact puppet, but make it a practical, practical, effect. practical effect, yes. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. Definitely. Okay, so, so are we... Yeah, yeah we, we should probably wrap this up. Okay, yeah. All right, so... So, we talked a whole about a whole bunch of stuff. We covered a lot of stuff. Please, tell us what you think about each one of these topics, if you have an opinion, you know? Yeah, uh, if, if you want, want us to talk about something. Oh, yeah, throw, definitely. Throw ideas out there. Definitely, because we're always open to ideas. We're just starting out, right. and, you know, we're very new to this. Well, at least these two are. I mean, I've done recording for YouTube for a while, um, and... You know, I play, and, but I've never really done a podcast like this before. And actually, I'm going to do another podcast coming soon about movies with my sister. Um, so you guys will see that very soon. 
Oh yeah, we'll uh, probably put a link on our on our page. For oh yeah, it, yeah. So you guys once once we make it, it'll yeah, because come I'll out. probably be making some guest appearances on that one as well. Oh yeah, I love. Oh yeah, and... so so will I because I love the I love all types of movies. And boy, would I like to talk about that Logan movie, but we'll save that for another. Time. <laughs> 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 I haven't seen that one yet. Anyway, don't don't be giving no spoilers. Anyway, um, also subscribe. Yes, yeah, subscribe. Hit the subscribe please. button. Like down there. Like uh, us on Facebook. Facebook and like us right here. Like the video. Uh, right. Give us a thumbs up. Um, or a thumbs down if you don't like it. Yeah, if you don't, if, if, you, know, if you absolutely like, hate our guts, uh, that's go fine. ahead. <laughs> that's fine too. Yeah, yeah. we um, don't we don't care. Right. If you guys haven't seen our uh, first episode of this podcast, where definitely check we kind of ramble on about um the Star, Star Wars celebration, Star Wars celebration for a little bit. Uh, very good. I th- I think it turned out very well. For our um, first one? Oh yeah, yeah. For our first one, I'm it turned out well. It turned yeah. out well, and I think that this one turned out well for our second one. Okay. So yes. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, or listening. Listening, watching, listening, watching listening, whatever. Listening, sometimes watching. I don't know. If you if you guys like to watch still images, <laughs> that's that's cool. Um, so, yes. I hope that you guys enjoyed. And we will see you all guys. We'll see you all guys next time. Next time. So. Right. Bye. Bye. Later. That's a gun, all right, too.